Okay guys, welcome to another quick tutorial with me, Dr. Octobeard. Today, we're gonna climb a ladder. There I go, I'm going up. I can go up to the top, I can come down, back to the bottom, and I can go all the way and land on whatever I want to. Here's how I did it. So the first thing you're going to need set up is the ladder itself. This is just a model that I've created in here using a couple of uprights, using gator cubes and just squishing them down from the game object, 3D object cube, and creating some horizontal bars to go in there. The actual heavy lifting is done by this other game object here, which is basically just a cube with the mesh renderer removed and the box collider turned into a trigger. Now there are a couple of things that's important to know when setting this up. The first one is that you don't want the bottom edge of the box here to go below the floor. If you do, then when the person comes off the ladder, they might get thrown straight through the floor and fall and fall forever. You also do want to make sure that the top of the box is slightly above the top of the ladder so that they get thrown forwards and off the ladder onto whatever they're going for. You can do that simply by adjusting the size, the height here, you can see, and by changing the center point there to shift it off the floor but over and above the ladder. I'm happy with my settings here. So the idea is when the player moves inside this trigger area here, the regular controls will be disabled and it will enable new controls using this ladder script. The ladder script, this is very important, the ladder script goes on the first person controller here and there are a couple of things that we're going to need to set up. I'm going to show you the script now and talk you through what's going on. First of all here we have a public transform for the character controller. This is essentially what's going to move up and down when we're inside Inside the trigger area. Obviously to know whether we are inside we need a boolean to, to operate this here and we're not going to be inside at the start so it's set to false. Uh, next we're going to have a speed that moves us up and down 3.3, 3.2, 3.4 roundabout tends to be the sort of normal speed that you've just seen me moving up and down the ladder with. Um, you can make that faster or slower by changing that number there. Finally and this is very important you're going to need access to your controller script. That's whichever piece of code is driving your character controller. Now I'm using a character controller that came with the Unity Standard Assets package, so I'm going to need to put the title of that script, which you can see over here, is First Person Controller. And I'm going to call that variable FPS input. Because I'm using something that came with the standard assets of Unity, I also need this extra line at the top granting access to the standard assets, characters and first person folder. If you're using your own character controller, then you'll simply need to type the name of the script in here and in here. Now all that's set up, let's see what happens at runtime. So in void start, we're going to get the component of the first person controller here, and this is going to be again the name of whatever your script is up here. And we're going to set the boolean to false so that when we restart, it's false. Then we simply have a couple of triggers. We have an on trigger enter and an on trigger exit that are both using colliders. So if the object that I collide with is tagged ladder, then it will disable the regular controls and it will mark me as being inside. Obviously, once I step out of that, it will re-enable the regular controls and it will, it will toggle that off again. It will not mark me as being inside. The final bit that makes you go up and down, down here in void update, if inside is true, if I'm inside, and if I push forwards, the usual forwards key W, then instead of moving me forwards across the X and the Z planes, it will move me up in the Y plane with a vector three up, divided by the speed up down, whatever I've set that to. Uh, finally, obviously, if I push S, that will move me back. It will move me back down again, because I want to be able to get up and down. And again, that's just going to be a vector three dot down. That is the script. It's really straightforward. The final thing to make sure, of course, is that your ladder collider here is tagged ladder up here. If it isn't, you can add a tag and then you can go back in and you can re-tag it. That really is how you make ladders go up and down in Unity. Thanks for watching, y'all.